Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little romper for baby boys and girls between nine and 12 months old. Now, you can easily make it smaller or bigger. I'd say between three and six months and up to 24 months. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave you some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Now, at the end of the tutorial, I leave you the finished measurements, and remember, all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Now, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll be adding the written instructions there. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the comments and in the information box below. Okay, so let's get started, and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. If you're in the US, you can also use number three yarn. This is the yarn that I'm going to be using. It's called La Mia Baby Boom. This is anti-pilling yarn. Um, I like this yarn because it's nice and soft, similar to cotton, so if you prefer, you can also use cotton yarn. Just make sure that it's the same weight. Now, I'll be using this light blue color and in white. Now, to begin, I have 61 chains. This chain here is measuring about 29 centimeters, which is about 11.5 inches. Now, if you're off by one or two centimeters, it's okay, just continue. Here, to begin, like I said, I have 61 chains on the third chain from the hook. One, two, three. I'm going to make a half double crochet. Half double crochet into the next. Half double crochet into the next, and so on. For this first row, this is all I'm going to do, which is one half double crochet on each one of the chains. Now, here at the beginning, we have these chains. These chains here in this row counts as one half double crochet. So at the end of this first row, we're going to have 60 half double crochets, including the chains. So continue like this, just making one half double crochet on each one of the chains, and I will meet you at the end of this first row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 59 half double crochets plus the two chains that we have here at the beginning. So that's a total of 60 half double crochets. Now for the second row, chain two and turn. Now from here on, these two chains never count as a stitch. Now what I'm going to do here is into the next 10 half double crochets, I'm going to make 10 double crochets. So beginning on top of the first one, make your first double crochet and then continue until you have 10 double crochets. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chain one. Now into the next ten half double crochets, make ten double crochets. So beginning into the next one, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten double crochets. Now chain one and into the next 20 half double crochets, make 20 double crochets. So beginning into the next double crochet right here, make a double crochet and one double crochet into each one until you have 20 double crochets. This is going to be the back side. Continue and I'll meet you back to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 20 double crochets. Now chain one and into the next 10, you're going to do 10 double crochets. So beginning into this next Make your first one and into each one of the next half double crochets. Same thing until you have 10 double crochets. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Chain one and into the next half double crochet, make a double crochet. And here we're going to finish with these last 10 double crochets. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and here at the end we have these two chains. Just pinch the last chain and there just make your last double crochet. Perfect. This is how we finish the first row. So we have 10 double crochets, then we have 10 double crochets, 20 double crochets, 10 double crochets, and then 10 double crochets. So these two here are the front panels, the next set of 10 are the sleeves, and then these here, the 20 double crochets is for the back. So now you should have a total of 60 double crochets for this second row. Now for the third row, chain two, turn. Remember the two chains never count as a stitch. Now here we're going to work one double crochet on top of each one until we come to the last double crochet for this side here. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this is the last double crochet for this side. So on top of this last double crochet, you're going to do two double crochets. Now inside this chain one space, make a V stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And into the first double crochet for this side here, which is the sleeve, make two double crochets. One and two. This is how you're going to work each one of the corners. Into the last double crochet for this side, two double crochets. Inside the chain one space, a V stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And into the first double crochet for this side, two double crochets. So let me show you again. Now I'm just going to work one double crochet on each one. This is how you're going to continue for the rest and do the same thing for each corner. So for each corner, we're going to be increasing four stitches. So four times four, 16 stitches is what we're going to increase for each row. Okay, so here's my last double crochet. I did one double crochet already, so make one more. So that's two double crochets into this last double crochet. Inside the chain one space, make your V stitch. And then into the first double crochet for the back side, make two double crochets. And then you're just going to continue and work these double crochets for the back side. And then you're going to do the same thing I just did for each one of the remaining two corners. I will meet you at the end of this third row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. I have 76 double crochets. Now from here on, this is the row that we're going to always repeat. We are always going to increase four double crochets on each corner. So that's four, eight, 12, and 16. So now for rows four through six, you're going to do the same thing. Chain two, turn, and then you're going to work one double crochet on each one of the double crochets until you come to the first corner where you're going to make your increase. And it's going to be done in the exact same way for each corner. So 
So here's the last double crochet. So into this last double crochet, make two double crochets inside the chain one space, make a V stitch and into the first double crochet for this side, two double crochets. And this is how you're going to work each one of your corners. At the end of this fourth row, you're going to have 92 double crochets. At the end of the fifth row, you're going to have 108 double crochets. And at the end of the sixth row, you're going to have 124 double crochets. So continue and finish these next three rows and I'll meet you at the end of the sixth row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this sixth row. I have a total of 124 double crochets. Now for row seven, eight, and nine, chain two and turn. Here, what we're going to do is we're going to work one double crochet on each one of these double crochets until I come to the chain one space. Here, we're going to make an increase inside the chain one space only. So for each one of the next three rows, we're going to increase eight double crochets instead of 16 like we've been doing. Okay, this is my last double crochet. Just make a double crochet there. And inside this chain one space, which is the first corner here, you're just going to make a V-stitch. A double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And then continue along for this side, just making double crochets until you come to the next corner where you're going to do the exact same thing. You're just going to make a V-stitch inside each one of the chain one spaces. At the end of this seventh row, we're going to have 132 double crochets. You're going to chain two, turn, and then repeat the same thing for rows eight and nine. At the end of the eighth row, you're going to have 140 double crochets. And at the end of the ninth row, 148 double crochets. Continue, and I will meet you at the end of the ninth row. Okay, I finished making the ninth row. I have a total of 148 double crochets. Make sure that you have the same number of double crochets as I do, since we're going to continue and divide the sleeves in the next row. Now, this part here is measuring about 11 centimeters, which is almost 4.5 inches. Now, what we're going to do, like I said, is we're going to divide the sleeves. So here's my last double crochet. Now we're going to join to the first, so on top of the first double crochet right here, make a slip stitch. Now chain two, turn, and right here in the center where we did this slip stitch, make a double crochet. So into the slip stitch, just make a double crochet. Now I'm going to work one double crochet for each one of these panels here until I come to the first corner. So I have one double crochet. This is two. Twenty one and twenty two double crochets, including this one here that we did in the center. Now, inside this first corner, you're going to do three double crochets, and then you're going to chain four, skip these double crochets for the sleeve, and right into the next corner right here, make three double crochets. One, two, three. If you want to add more chains right here under the sleeve, you can. I'm going to leave it like this. I think for the size that we're making this for, it's perfect, but you can always add more and just make it a little bit more loose. Now, continue and work one double crochet for each one of these double crochets here for this back side, or actually from here on, it's going to be the front. 
So continue and I will meet you right about here to show you how we're going to divide the second sleeve. Okay, I finished making these double crochets for the front side here. Now into this third corner, you're going to make three double crochets. Chain four, one, two, skip these double crochets for the sleeve and into the last corner make three double crochets and then we're just going to continue and finish the back side here so i'll do this and i'll meet you at the end of this first row Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where we divided the sleeves. I have a total of 97 double crochets. I have 49 for the back side and I have 48 for the front. So that's a total of 97 double crochets. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the second row, chain two. These two chains from here on never count as a stitch just like the first row. It's there so that when we finish each row, there is no gap here and we have a nicer finish here. So to begin into the first double crochet, which is the first double crochet where I did the slip stitch, make a double crochet, and then into each one of these double crochets until I come to the last double crochet for this side. I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these double crochets here. I'm right under the sleeve. We have four chains. All you're going to do is one double crochet for each one of the chains. And you're going to do the exact same thing on the other sleeve. Four, perfect. And now we're just going to continue along and work one double crochet for each one of these double crochets and when you come here to these other chains you're going to do the same thing one double crochet for each chain and then continue and finish this second row i will meet you at the end of this second row to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this second row i have a total of 105 double crochets now to finish go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how I finish the second row. Now for the third row, chain two, here we're going to work front post and back post double crochets. Now if you have a hard time making front post and back post double crochets, then just make double crochets all around. So here, beginning into the first double crochet, which is the first one where I did the slip stitch, make a front post double crochet. Next one, back post double crochet front post double crochet, back post double crochet, and so on. This is all I'm going to do for this third row. I'm just going to alternate between a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet. Continue like this all around and I'll meet you here at the end of this third row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where I did front post and back post double crochets. Now, this is going to be the last row that I'm going to do like this. So from here on, all we're going to do is just rows of double crochets and we're always going to have 105 double crochets. So here to finish this row, you're just going to go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now to begin each row from here on, you're going to chain two and you're going to make your first double crochet into the same stitch that you do your slip stitch, which is the first double crochet. And then continue on all around, just making double crochets. And at the end of every row from here on, you're always going to have 105 double crochets. This is all we're going to do for the rest of this little outfit. All you're going to do is just double crochets. Now, when you finish this row, you're just going to go on top of the first double crochet right here, join with a slip stitch, chain two, and then repeat the same row. Now, I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do, and then I'm going to show you how we're going to divide the legs. So I'll meet you at the end of that row. 
Okay, I finished making this part. This is what it looks like. This is the back side. I did a total of 25 rows and it's measuring from the top here of the shoulder down to the last row. It's measuring about 34 centimeters, which is almost 13.5 inches. Now I did some increases. Um, this is so that the hip area is a bit more wider. So let me show you where I did my increases. So from the end of this second row to row 14, which is this one here, I had a total of 105 double crochets um, at the end of every row. So from row 15 up to row 19, I did some increases. So let me show you. Row 15, which is this one here, I added one extra stitch on this side and one extra stitch on this side. So that at the end of row 15, I had 107 double crochets. Now, same thing for row 16. At the end of row 16, I had 109 double crochet. I added two extra stitches on each side. At the end of row 17, same thing. I added two extra stitches on each side and I had a total of 111 double crochets at the end of that row. For row 18, same thing. I added two extra stitches. So at the end of row 18, I had 113 double crochets. For row 19, same thing I added two extra stitches on each side so at the end of row 19 I had 115 double crochets now from rows 20 to 24 20 21 22 23 24 I did not increase anything so I continue with the same 115 double crochets but at the end of the 25th row here at the end, I added an extra stitch. So I did two double crochets here at the end. Now at the end of this 25th row, I have 116 double crochets. Now this is optional. I did this so that the hip area here is a bit wider. If you don't want to do the increases, it's fine. You can just continue in the same way, but you are going to have a bit of um, a difference here when you divide the legs. You're just going to have to do that accordingly. Um, here I have put some stitch markers and I'm going to tell you where I put them. Here, this is the back side. I have 10 stitches in between each one of these stitch markers. And for the front, same thing. 10 stitches in between the stitch markers. So each leg is going to have 48 double crochets and 48 double crochets on this side. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to do this part in the center first. So make sure that this is the back side. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to grab a loop here, bring it through the front, chain two, and into this same stitch here, make a double crochet. Double crochet into each one of the double crochets here. I have five on this side and five on this side. This is where we finished. So we're going to have 10 double crochets here. Ten double crochets. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten. The two chains do not count. Now chain two, turn, and we're going to do the same thing. Here I'm going to do about three rows for this part. If you want to make it longer, you can. But at the end, once we finish the legs, I'm going to add about one, one or two more rows, so that we can add some snap buttons there or buttons if you prefer. Okay, chain two, turn, and then repeat. Okay, 10. Perfect. Now we're going to cut our yarn. So cut your yarn here. And we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. So just pass your yarn through this last loop, turn this over. Now this here is the, the front. Skip 48 double crochets and into this double crochet after the stitch marker. Grab a loop, bring it through the front.
chain two and then again make a double crochet here and then a double crochet on each one of these 10 double crochets. Okay, 10 double crochets. Let me make sure. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Perfect. Chain two, turn, and then repeat for two more rows. Same thing we did on the back side. Continue. I will finish this and then I'm going to come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these three rows here for the front side. So now we're going to start one of the legs. So I'm going to do this one here since I don't want to cut my yarn. So what you're going to do here is chain two and into this first double crochet, which is the last one that I did here, make two double crochets, one and two. Now into the next row, make one double crochet, into the next row, one double crochet. So, so far I have four double crochets. Now into this double crochet where I did this last double crochet for the first row, into this same double crochet right there, make two double crochets, one and two. Okay, so that's six double crochets. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work one double crochet for each one of these double crochets for the leg. So continue just making double crochets and I will meet you here at this other end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm almost done with this first row. I'm right here before the stitch marker. This is my last double crochet out of the 48 that I have here for the leg. So into this last double crochet here, make two double crochets. Now we have the three rows here. So into the first row, make a double crochet into the second row make a double crochet and into the third row make two double crochets so that here we have six two three four five six now if you count each one of these double crochets for the leg you should have 59 double crochets now for rows two three and four chain two and turn and we're just going to work one double crochet for each one of these 59 double crochets. We're going to do this for a total of four rows. So all you're going to do is just double crochets like this. Now when you finish this second row, here at the end, you're going to chain two, turn, and then repeat the same thing until you have four rows. I'll meet you once we have these four rows to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these four rows, one, two, three, four of just double crochets. And at the end of every row, I had 59 double crochets. Now for rows uh, five and six, chain two and turn. We're going to work two rows of front post and back post double crochet. So beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. Now into the second double crochet, work a front post double crochet, back post double crochet into the next front post double crochet back post double crochet and so on you're going to continue like this to the end here at the end on top of the last double crochet you're going to make a double crochet on top then chain two and then repeat the same thing um, you're going to work your first double crochet on on top of the first double crochet then continue and work the double crochets in the exact same way front post back post front post back post double crochets i'll meet you at the end of that second row okay i finished making these last two rows of front post and back post double crochets so in total here we did six rows four rows of double crochets and two rows of front post and back post double crochets now if you want to make your legs um, maybe longer you can just continue in the exact same way i showed you here so here at the end, I just cut my yarn, passed my yarn through this last loop. Now I'm going to show you this other side here. This is the back side. So we're going to do the left leg starting here from the back. So insert your hook right here on top of the last double crochet that we did here in the center. Grab a loop. chain two and now into this first row here 
do two double crochets. We're going to do the same thing we did on the other side. And then in the next row, make one double crochet. In the next row, one double crochet. And right here where we have the double crochet before the stitch marker, this one here where we did the last double crochet for the first row out of the three that we did here, insert your hook right here into this corner and then do two double crochets. Here we should have six double crochets, two, four, six, perfect. And now we're going to continue all around, just working one double crochet for each one of the double crochets until you come to the other end. I will meet you here to show you how we're going to finish this first row. Okay, I'm here at this other side. Now into this last double crochet out of the 48 for the legs right here, make two double crochets. And then into the first row out of these three, make one double crochet, one double crochet into the second row, and into the third row, make two double crochets like this. So now I have 59 double crochets, which is the same number of double crochets I had for this side. Now we're going to do three more rows in the exact same way. So these three rows here, you chain two, turn, and then continue and work one double crochet on each one of these 59 double crochets. So continue, finish these four rows, and then I'm going to come back and show you the two rows of front post and back post double crochets. I think I'm going to undo this part and make these last two rows in white. So I'm going to show you here how I'm going to do those last two rows. So finish making these four rows and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these four rows here. One, two, three, four. Here at the end, I cut my yarn, passed my yarn through this last loop. Now, as I mentioned, I'm going to do these two rows here in white. So to do this, if you want to do them in white, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go right here. This is where my last double crochet is. I'm going to grab a loop with white, chain two, turn, And then on top of this first double crochet make a double crochet and then into the second one work a front post double crochet back post double crochet front post double crochet and so on this is all i'm going to do for the next two rows so when you finish here make your last double crochet on top of the last double crochet chain two turn and then Make your first double crochet on top of that last double crochet, then work the same stitches in the same way, front post and back post double crochets. Continue and I'll meet you back once this part here is done to show you what it looks like. So I'll meet you once this part here is done. Okay, I finished making this other leg and this is what it looks like. Here I did these last two rows in white, so I decided to undo the last two rows on this side and then also do them in white. So that's why I showed you how to do it here. And this is what it looks like. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to work single crochets along this part. This is going to be the back side, so I'm going to show you first on this side and then I'll show you the other side. So with the blue yarn here, make a loop and right here on the right side go right on top chain one and now into this last row here make two single crochets one and two into the next row again make two single crochets so far I have four now into this first row in blue, make one single crochet, that's five, into the next two, six and seven, into the next row, one, that's eight, and into the first row out of these six here, make two single crochets. So here you should have ten single crochets. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Now there is no right or wrong way of doing this, as long as it looks nice here. You just continue. Now here we have these double crochets in the center, so I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so, so far I have 20 single crochets. Now into this first row here, make two single crochets, one and two, into the next one and two, that's four so far into the next row one that's five into the next row two six and seven into the next row so one single crochet and into the last row nine and ten let's see this was 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. So I have 10, 10, and 10. Now chain one, turn, and here we're going to work one single crochet for each one of these single crochets. We're going to do two rows here, or two more rows, so that in total we have three. So all you're going to do is just work single crochets until you come to this other end. Then you're going to chain one, turn, and then repeat for one more row. I will meet you at the end of that third row. Okay, I finished making this third row here at the end. I just cut my yarn and passed my yarn through this last loop, and this part here is done. This is going to be the back side. So now we're going to do the same thing here for the front side. Now, I plan to use snap buttons, so I'm going to do three rows in the exact same way I did the back side. I'm going to do it here in the front, but if you are going to use just regular buttons, I'm going to show you how to make your buttonholes here on this side. Now, we're going to start in the same way, so starting here on the right side, and this here is the front, insert your hook on top of this last double crochet, bring this loop through the front, chain one and now we're going to work these 30 single crochets just like we did for the first row this part doesn't change so into this first row make two single crochets then two single crochets into the next one single crochet into the first row in blue so so far i have five single crochets and six and seven into the next eight and into the last row nine and ten that's ten single crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine ten for this part here now right in the middle we have ten single crochets so same thing make ten single crochets here that's two three four five six seven eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to work these ten single crochets. So into the first row make two single crochets, into the next two single crochets, that's four, into the next row one, that's five, into the next six and seven, into the next one, that's eight, and into the last row nine, and 10 on top of the last stitch here. So we have 10, 10, and 10. That's 30 single crochets, which is the same as we have here for the back side. Now chain one, turn. This is where you would normally do your buttonholes. So decide how many you want to do. If I were you, I would do one, and then two, three, and then four. So two here, and then one for each side. So this is how you would do it. So chain one, turn, and on top of this last single crochet or the first single crochet, make a single crochet. Now chain one, skip one single crochet and into the next, make a single crochet. Then continue along and work these single crochets until you come to the next spot where you want your next buttonhole. So we said one right about here. So right about here so chain one skip this single crochet and then to the next a single crochet and then you would continue in the same way you would make a single crochet here and then chain one and then skip this single crochet and into the next and then make your next buttonhole right about here and then that way you have four buttonholes then you're going to chain one turn and then 
for that third row, you would just work one single crochet for each one of the single crochets. And inside the chain one space, you would also do a single crochet so that you also finish with 30 single crochets on that row. I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to do it exactly how I did it here because I plan to use snap buttons. So I'm going to undo this part here. If you plan to use snap buttons, just do three rows of single crochets just like we did on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this part here. Then I'm going to come back and show you how this part here looks once I have my buttons or my snap buttons on. So, and then I'll leave you a link of the snap button kit that I use in the information box. Okay, so continue and I'll meet you once this part here is done to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this bottom part. That's what it looks like. I also went ahead and attached my snap buttons. Here they are. Now I'll go ahead and leave a link down here in the information box of the snap button kit that I used. I purchased it from Amazon. It's very easy to use. So that's what it looks like. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to make one of the sleeves. I went ahead and did this side already, so we're going to do this one here. So this is the front side, and we're going to go on this side. This is the right sleeve. So right under the sleeve, insert your hook. Right here we have these four double crochets. So just go right here, right in the middle. You're going to do the other sleeve exactly in the same way. Nothing's going to change. So you're just going to go right under the sleeve, grab a loop here, bring it through the front, chain two, one, two. I'm using the same hook, 3.5 millimeter, with the same yarn. Now into this same space here, make a double crochet. The two chains do not count as a stitch. Now between this first double crochet for the sleeve and this part here, I need to make five double crochets. So I already have one. In between the next two, make a double crochet. That's two. Between the next two, that's three. And right here on top of this double crochet, that's four. And then right here, that's five double crochets. That looks pretty good. And now we have these 32 double crochets around the sleeve. All we're going to do is just make one double crochet for each one. Like this until you come to the other end. Continue all around and I'll meet you at the end of this first row to show you how we're going to finish this row and then start the second row. Okay, I'm here at this other end of the sleeve. This is the first row. I have so far 37 double crochets. I had 32 for the sleeve plus the five that I did. That's 37 double crochets up to here. Now between this last double crochet and the first, I need to also do five double crochets just like I did here at the beginning. So I'm going to go right into this double crochet here and make one right on top. That's two three, four, and five. Perfect. Now to finish this first row, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this first row with 42 double crochets. We have five plus five plus 32, that's 42 double crochets. Now for rows two and three, chain two and on top of this first double crochet make a double crochet one double crochet on top of the next and so on for these next two rows this is all we're going to do we're just going to make double crochets for a total of two rows at the end of each row you're going to have 42 double crochets so continue finish this second row Go on top here of the first double crochet, join with a slip stitch, chain two, and then repeat the same row one more time. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of the third row. Okay, I finished making the third row here. I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. Now, I only did three rows, but if you want to make the sleeve longer, you can. That would be up to you. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do these two rows of front post and back post double crochets. So to do this part, I am going to use this three millimeter crochet hook. If you're using a different hook size, just go down half a hook size and that should work. And also it's optional. You don't have to go down a hook size. You can do this part here with the same 
uh, hook that we did the sleeve. It's optional. Okay, so to do this part, we're going to go right here on top of the first double crochet, which is the same stitch where we join with a slip stitch. Now I'll grab a loop with this white yarn, chain two, and we're going to work front post and back post double crochets. Now, if you have a hard time making these front post and back post double crochets, you can do half double crochets all around, maybe do a row or two, that would be up to you. And then the next stitch here, a back post double crochet, front post double crochet, back post double crochet, and so on. Continue like this all around. When you finish this first row, just go on top of the first double crochet right here, join with a slip stitch, chain two, and then repeat this same row one last time. So that in total we have two rows. And you're going to do the exact same thing. Front post double crochet, back post double crochet, front back, front back, and so on. Continue and finish these two rows and then I'll come back and show you how we're going to work the neckline. Okay, I finished this second row of front post and back post double crochets and that's what it looks like. Here I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop and the sleeve is done. Now, as I mentioned, if you want to make your sleeve longer, you can just add more rows here and then finish in the same way. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a little collar here. It's optional as it is, it's finished. I'm going to go ahead and add this little collar so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it here. So we're going to skip one, two, three. So right about here, I'm going to grab a loop, chain one, and into this same stitch here, make a single crochet. And then in between each one of the half double crochets, you're going to make a single crochet. I'm going to do this until I come to the first corner. And on every corner, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to reduce the neckline a tiny bit. If you don't need to reduce the neckline, then you don't have to do these reductions, but I'm going to do uh, four, one, two, three, four on each corner. If you need to do more then by all means, you can do them in between the corners or here in the front, that will be up to you. Okay, so here. We have the next two stitches, so insert your hook, grab a loop, insert your hook into the next, grab a loop, three loops, close. So here's the first reduction here in this corner, or decrease in that corner, and then I'm going to continue in between each one of the half double crochets. I'm going to make these single crochets until I come to the next corner. Here's the next two stitches, grab a loop, grab a loop, three loops, close. And now continue here in the front side, just making single crochets. And then you're going to do the same thing here in this corner and in this one. So continue and I'll meet you here at the end of this first row. Okay, I finished making these single crochets around the neckline. I have 51 single crochets. Now for the second row, chain one and turn. And here we're going to work single crochets again, but we're going to go through the back loop only, like this. So beginning on top of the first single crochet, make your first single crochet, but make sure you only go through the back loop, like this, all around. That's all we're going to do, just single crochets through the back loop. Continue and I'll meet you at this other end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished this second row. I have 51 single crochets. Now I've put a stitch marker to mark the center here. So we're going to work 25 stitches here and then 25 stitches here. So let me show you. For the third row, chain three and turn. Now in this row, we're going to work triple crochets. So yarn over twice, insert your hook on top of this first single crochet take two loops off, take two loops off, take two loops off. Again, yarn over twice, insert your hook on top of the next single crochet, take two loops off, take two loops off, take two loops off. Again, yarn over twice, insert your hook on top of the next single crochet, take two loops off, take two loops off, take two loops off. This is all I'm going to do Again, yarn over twice and repeat. 
This is all I'm going to do until I get to about here. I'd say it's going to be about 22 triple crochets. So continue and I'll meet you right about here to show you how we're going to work the center. Okay, I have 22 triple crochets. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 not including the chains here. Now, I have three stitches, one, two, three, before the stitch marker. So, what I'm going to do into this next single crochet is a double crochet. Into the next single crochet, make a half double crochet, a single crochet into the next, and a single crochet into the center stitch here. Now, if we count each one of these stitches without counting the three chains, we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 stitches here. Remove this stitch marker. And for reference for the next row, put it on top of this single crochet that I just did. This is the center stitch. Now, into the single crochet after the stitch marker, make a single crochet, then make a half double crochet into the next, a double crochet into the next, and into the next 22 single crochets, make a triple crochet on each, like this. So we're going to do exactly the same thing we did on the other side, on this side here. And that's all we're going to do for this third row. So continue and I will meet you here at the end of this row. Okay, I finished making these 22 triple crochets. Now here at the end, right into this last stitch in the same space here, I'm going to make a double crochet. Now for the fourth row, chain three and turn. Now what we're going to do here in this row is we're going to work double crochets in between the triple crochet so beginning right here between the double crochet and the first triple crochet make two double crochets one and two in, in between the next two make one in between the next two make two double crochets in between the next one make one and so on this is how i'm going to continue just alternating between two, one, two, one double crochets in between the triple crochets. So let me count how many I have here so far. I have the chains here and the double crochet. That's two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. I need to do one into the next. That's twelve, thirteen, and fourteen, fifteen. 16 and 17 into the next, 18, 19 and 20 into the next, 21, 22 and 23 into the next, 24 into the next, 25 and 26 between the next, 27, 28, and 29, 30, 31, and 32, 33, 34, and 35 into the next. There. So we have 35 double crochets. Let me count them again just to double check. We have the chains here. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 35 double crochets here. And that's what it looks like. Now here I have three stitches before the stitch marker. One, two, three. In between the next two, I'm going to make a double crochet. Now on top of the next, make a single crochet. Now into this last stitch before the stitch marker, make a slip stitch. Remove this stitch marker. And into this center stitch, make a slip stitch also. And into the next stitch, make a slip stitch. 
So now we have three slip stitches here in the center. Now on top of the next stitch, make a single crochet. In between these two stitches here, make a double crochet. And between the next two, make two double crochets. Then one, then two, and so on. Now this part here is the same like we did here. So continue now for this side, alternating between one and two double crochets in between the triple crochets. And I will meet you here at this end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fourth row. I have two double crochets right in between these two stitches here. So here at the end, I'm going to make a double crochet by uh, going into this last chain here at the end. This is so that here at the end is exactly the same here as the beginning. Now, I'm going to show you one extra row. This row would be optional, especially if you're making it for girls. Now, as it is, it's done. If you want to leave it like this for boys, it's perfectly fine, but I'm going to show you one more row um, here at the end so that it looks a little bit nicer. So we're going to chain one and turn On top of this last double crochet, make a single crochet. Now, chain three, skip one double crochet on, and on top of the next one, make a slip stitch. Chain three, skip one double crochet, and on top of the next one, a slip stitch. Chain three, skip one double crochet, and on top of the next one, a slip stitch. This is all I'm going to do until I come to right about the center. And I'll meet you there to show you this part here in the center and how we're going to work it and then continue along and finish on the other side. I'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm right here in the center. Let's see. The next stitch is the single crochet and then we have the next three slip stitches. One, two, three. So we have the single crochet into this single crochet, make a slip stitch then skip one slip stitch and into the center slip stitch right here. Make a slip stitch. Skip the next slip stitch and into the next single crochet here. Work a slip stitch, chain three. Skip one double crochet and into the next a slip stitch, chain three. Skip one double crochet and into the next a slip stitch. Now this part here is the same as this side, so continue and I will meet you here at this other end to show you the finished little romper. Okay, I went ahead and finished this last row here at the end. I just did one last single crochet, cut my yarn and passed my yarn through this last loop and the collar is done and that's what it looks like from the back. Now, if you don't want your collar to flop around, when you're adding the little button, just go ahead and add two little stitches here on each side and that'll prevent it from flopping around. Now here in the back, I went ahead and added this little button. This little button is 11 millimeter and what I did here is I didn't make any button holes here for the back. So what I'm doing is I'm using one of this, this space in between the first and second stitches here along the very edge, you see right here, as a buttonhole, you can do the same thing. Now, if you prefer to add a buttonhole, then just go ahead and make single crochets here all around and then add a buttonhole in that way as well. I think this is fine. You can also add one more button. I'm, I'm only going to add one here. And there it is. Here's the back. These are the sleeves. Here's the bottom part from the back. And here's the opening from the back. Here's the front. Here's the collar, the sleeves, the waist and the bottom. These are the legs and the opening from the front and the other leg. Okay, so now let me give you the finished measurements. From the neckline to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 14 centimeters, which is about 5.5 inches. This part here, right across this part here, it's measuring about 15 centimeters, which is about six inches. Now the length from the shoulder to the end here of the legs, it's measuring about 40 centimeters, which is about 15.5 inches. From the middle of the collar 
to the middle of the opening right about here it's measuring about 37 centimeters which is about 14.5 inches now the opening of the legs here this part it's measuring about 15.5 centimeters which is about six inches and the waist just the top it's measuring about 10.25 inches which is about 20 centimeters so based on these measurements this little romper is for baby boys and girls between 9 and 12 months old but you can easily make it smaller or bigger i'd say between three and six months and up to 18 and 24 months just be sure to check out the information box below i'll leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger along with the link to my etsy shop if you prefer a written instruction i'll be adding the pattern there as well okay so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.